Good morning again, fam. Today we're continuing our series of prayers focused on ministry councils. And this morning I'm doing, you guessed it, Christian education. And in his letter to the Ephesian church, the Apostle Paul spoke about ministerial positions that Christ had gifted his believers with in order to grow the church. Or you may have heard the phrase, the fivefold ministry. The fivefold ministry is the cornerstone to building the church. In Ephesians 4, 11 through 12, Paul wrote, Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors, and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church, the body of Christ. So let's break this down real quick so you can see where we're going with this. An apostle sets up or starts a community of believers coming together. A prophet will speak over those believers and will let them know God's will. An evangelist will seek out the lost so that they, can, they too can become believers. And a pastor will care for that community, spiritually and physically. But a teacher, our job is to make it all make sense for the believers. Our job is to break down God's word so that you can easily understand it and also apply it to your everyday lives. Most importantly to me, our job as teachers is to help everyone see why any of this should matter to you. There is a reason why Bible studies and Sunday schools are so, so important to the spiritual growth of the church. For, for many of us, some of the first stories that we learn from the Bible or about God may not have come from our parents or grandparents, but quite possibly it came from a Sunday school teacher. For adults, of course, we love a great soul-stirring sermon that will uplift and educate us but it's within Bible study that we really get into a better understanding of what the preacher was speaking and how God is moving. And being a teacher of the word is a major call and a huge responsibility. Regardless if you're teaching kids or adults, it takes time to study, to understand, and to be able to disperse the information so that people can easily understand and apply it. And it's a position that God holds teachers accountable for. We have to do our best to make sure that we understand the heart of God and teaching what God wants and not just what we think. It requires prayer, it requir requires studying, it requires dedication. So with all of that said, let's now pray for the Christian Education Council. Join me in a word of prayer, please. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for the gifts that your son Christ left to us to build his church. We thank you for how he allows everything to work together in harmony to build his community. But this morning, Lord, we want to pray especially for our teachers and our educators. We thank you for everyone who heard your call for them to be instructors. We thank you for the ones who minister to our youth in Sunday school, to our communities online and in homes, to those who instruct on Sunday morning from the pulpit. We thank you for the selfless service that they have all given and continue to give. We thank you for the hours of preparation, of studying, and of imagining new and inventive ways to make your word and your ways valuable to all students. And God, I pray that you will expand our minds, that you will enrich our thoughts, that we may be always progressing towards rendering better education and not to get stale and redundant in our practices. Give every instructor a fresh anointing so that we can better minister and serve your people. Being a teacher is not a task that we can do solely on our own. We need your spirit to dwell within us 
and to lead us so that we may direct your people back to you. As we follow and instruct your people, may we also learn when we need to keep silent and, we, and when we are being instructed. As we follow you and instruct your people, may we also learn when we need to keep silent and when we are being instructed. May we not only share our concerns, but also hear the concerns and questions of your students. God, we love you. We thank you for everyone who said yes to be an educator. We ask that you cover us and lead us. Continue to pour into us and reach our lives so that there will be an overflow that we can share with others. When we get discouraged or feel that we are not getting through, calm us down, encourage us, and redirect us. God, allow us to play the part that you have called us to play in the upbuilding of your kingdom here at FC3. We thank you and we bless you for calling us for such a time as this. In the name of our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you all for joining us this morning. Hope to see you again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.